Okay, mother lickers. So, one year ago, I put a post on Facebook saying that I would never ever speak to the BBC or do an interview with the BBC. The other day, I got a message from somebody from the BBC wanting to do an interview for the one show. Now, all my principles went out of the window at that point, and I was like, yeah, absolutely. Let's do an interview for the for the bloody one show. Now, I don't know, really know what the one show is. I, I think I might, may have seen it before. Um, I don't really know what it's about as such, but I think I've seen it anyway. So they gave me, gave me a call and said, you want to be on the one show, we're doing an article about people choosing alternatives to, uh, to, to housing with the financial crisis and all that kind of thing. Housing crisis and rising rents and all this stuff that is the reason why I live in a van. Uh, so anyway, I, I honestly just lapped it all up and said, yeah, sign me up, sign me up, woman. It's fine. I'll do it. Anything, anything for a bit of publicity. So, I also uh, gave them the number of the Boondockers because they're my friends and their story is also interesting. So, the Boondockers are now involved. Now, originally, Everybody was going to meet me in Sheffield or in the Peak District, which is pretty, pretty much Sheffield. They were all going to meet me in the Peak District and we were going to uh, be interviewed on TV for this one show thing. However, the flipping boondockers' vans broke, so now I've got to drive all the way to North Yorkshire to go meet them. Week before payday, I'm not exactly flush, I've got a lot going on. I've just dropped Alice off at her mum's. I've got to be back to pick Alice up from school tomorrow. So I am in a I'm in a crazy mad rush to get up there, interview tomorrow morning, filming tomorrow morning, and then back down to Sheffield to pick Alice up. I'm not sure exactly how much I can I can record or film while we're there. But I'm going to try and sneak some recordings and filming in any way. I hope they don't ask me if I've got a TV license. Anyway, let's see what happens with this one. Next to your van. Hiya! Yeah, oh my god, I'm coming! <laughs> Alright, see you soon. <laughs> so, I've not slept that well. It's now half seven, which is probably time to get up, really, to be fair. But I didn't sleep that well. I've been up since like 4 a.m. or something. But, we're ready to go. I've got to go meet the uh, BBC people um, earlier today. So, nine o'clock half nine um because i've got to shoot off i've not got all day for this um <sighs> i've not got all day i need to go pick alice up from school so i've got to do this filming then shoot all the way back to sheffield which is like an hour and a half two hours hopefully there's no traffic let me turn my lights on properly there we go can you see it better now Hopefully you can see me better now, and you can see this dog as well. Yeah. What's she doing? What's she doing? People keep telling me that I don't show enough dog in my videos. So there she is. Come here then. Yeah. 
Hello. 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 Oh. 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 <laughs> so, we're currently parked on... What? Listen, this is my YouTube channel, not yours. So, you're, not, you're only getting like two minutes of fame, that's it. Anyway, let's just keep the dog out of there. Uh, yeah, I'm just parked in some housing estate in North Allerton. Uh, the boondoggers are um, in the next van to me. Uh, I went to go see them, I had a couple with them last night. Um, and we, we uh, spent some time in somebody's house that I've not met before. Subscribers of my channel, I do think. So if, if you're watching, thank you for for uh, for the cake. Thank you for the coffee. Maybe that's why I've not slept. Because you gave me coffee too late. Maybe it's your fault I've not slept. Thank you for that. Anyway, let's see if they let us film today. I'm not sure if they're going to... I heard a rumour that... Um, we weren't allowed to film while they were filming, so it might just have to be a behind the scenes thing, but we'll see how this goes. Dog, have you got, hey, listen, listen princess, have you got anything to say? You can have like one more go, you want to say anything? Look at the look on her face, she just looks guilty because she's been licking her own bum hole and then I got caught on camera doing it. Dirty dog. So I'm just making a copper. Just trying to tidy up a little bit because it is a bit well i mean it's not that much of a mess really but as you can see this is inside my van i don't very often do tours inside my van apart from that one van tour uh, anyway this is what we look like at the moment but i can hear outside there you go just now how's it mr and there is the boondockers van i can hear him should we see him Morning. Good morning. You alright? Is Good anybody morning. naked in there? Hey? Anybody naked? No. Alright, okay. <laughs> morning! <laughs> hey, with the cameras in the background. <gasps> <laughs> Are you filming our picture? <laughs> Who's doing like hair and makeup and stuff? Right? <laughs> This is it. Make us look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Got your own dressing room. Write my name on the back of it. I would suggest that would be your best option. There you go. If you pop that in your pocket, it makes sure you leave yourself like a little bit of slack. And get too tight. Liam, oh, you've got your name on it and everything. <laughs> 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 it's got my name on it. Okay. Where's your wardrobe? Oh, yeah. You've got yeah, so uh, I've got um, this is quite an, a new addition actually. Mm. Um, those are IKEA crates, um, and yes, so the, the clothes are separated off into whatever I need them to be separated. But I've also got another three of those in the back for like winter clothes and stuff. So. Mm. Hi, my name's Liam, and uh, this is my uh, Mercedes Sprinter van. So we're at the whole time. I've lived in this van for just over a year now. Brilliant. Can we do it again without saying it's a Mercedes Sprinter? Alright. Oh, okay. um, oh, right. I've lived in for a year. Okay. Okay. My name's Liam and this is my van, which I have lived in for a year now. And um, what made you try to live in a van? 
Um, I, looked, uh, I moved in, into a band for the freedom, financial freedom, to travel, uh, to just enjoy life and have a different perspective. Brilliant. And um, how are you going to tell me about your band? So my band's got a fixed bed. So my band has a, a fixed bed, has gas, electric, um, has running water, it has still Wi-Fi, has a toilet. Tell me what to do. Right, okay, so let's run through one more time. So, hi, my name's Lee, I'm just doing good. Thank you. Well, that was kind of interesting, wasn't it? A bit of a break from the norm. Anyway, some really good questions, some really nice people. Um, there, there was a couple there that were, were looking to uh, move into their van. They're in the, in the middle of the build now. Um, and they wanted to meet people that have lived in their vans for uh, a length of time so they could find out what it's really like and well, I think I think that we've probably made some really good friends there actually I think that I think that I'll probably speak to them again no doubt if they need any um, any help with anything they'd probably be able to help me with things actually uh, also but yeah uh, really good really good uh, really good day it's, it's nice to meet up with uh, Kirsty and Purdy again and Kayla uh, obviously I've known them for well, around a year now, I think it is, um, since they moved into their van, and an excuse for a, for a gathering. We had a, a, a nice meal together and stuff, it was good. So that will be out soon, I, I don't know when, I think next couple of weeks it should be on TV. Hopefully we'll get good feedback from the general public, although uh, the viewers of the BBC are, are, are of, a, of a certain sort, so probably, uh, probably will receive some negative comments I imagine but it is what it is hopefully we'll have inspired some more people to uh, choose alternatives because you don't have to pay rent all your life and you don't have to get a mortgage on a shitty housing estate somewhere and look at somebody else's house for the rest of your life there are different options out there and traveling is amazing anyway I am gonna go me and Princess are tired, it's bloody warm today. Have a good weekend, or if this has been put out on a Monday, then you've probably had a good weekend. I hope you've had a good weekend. If you've not already had a good weekend, have a good next weekend. See you soon, bye!